Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be all about press on toenails, which sounds so, I don't know why it sounds so weird for me to say because I love myself a good pair of press on fingernails, wear them all the time, wearing them now, but press on toes just feel like weird territory to me. Maybe it's the feet thing. I was very uncomfortable showing my feet on video. So if you're an also not a foot person, this might be a skip for you, but it's in the name of beauty, right? So let's go ahead and dive in. I recently saw, and a lot of you guys actually tagged me in their post that Impress launched or relaunched their press on toenails. Now they're treating them like they're new, but I used these years ago when I actually first was introduced to their press on fingernails. They've had these for a while. So I'm wondering if they reformulated the adhesive or if they just came out with new designs. I mean, I definitely think they came out with new designs and new shades, but I'm not really sure why else they would kind of relaunch them in the way they have. But as many of you know, I cannot resist a good set of press on nails. I have a whole playlist about which kinds that I love, why I like them, try on videos, click the eye if you wanna see that whole playlist, but I am no stranger to them and I will recommend them all day, every day. Toenails on the other hand, slightly different story. I don't really have issues with polish staying on my toes. In fact, polish stays on my toes like longer than it probably should, chip free. I mean, I do keep it on longer even when it's chip, but like my toes are like polish magnets. So unlike the reason why I wear press-ons on my fingers, which is that they're super fast, there's no dry time and they stay on chip free for sometimes weeks at a time, I don't really have the same problem with my toes. So I don't know that I need a press on toenail to solve it. But in today's video, we're ditching logic for the sake of beauty and we are trying some press on toenails. So I have already tested them. I've tried them. I have some thoughts on them, but I did want to take you through the whole process. I actually showed my first time applying, well, not first time since I had tried them years ago, but my first time recently trying them to get an idea for how this current fit is. And I also share like a little update. Uh, so go watch that and then we'll regroup back here for final thoughts. Uh, goodbye. So first things first, guys, I always prep with nail polish remover. Um, chances are good these guys come with a, an alcohol swab, but I just find that remover is so much more effective at removing any natural oils, um, basically anything that might hinder the adhesive on the nails from working as well as it could. I just, remover does it so much better than whatever these kits tend to come with. All right, so now I have these unwrapped. Next up here is to lay out which size matches with your toe. And I just want to show you here, you do get the alcohol prep along with a cuticle pusher in this as well. Have to say, a little surprised that they make one for my big toe. I have massive feet, I feel like, and so that's kind of promising. These are like really long. Where am I supposed to put that? There? No, that's too long. Okay, so here we have them laid out. That took a lot longer than I expected because it was kind of harder to get a match for these toes for me. They're a lot wider than they are long. So even these I feel like that I've chosen are going to be way too long, but let's go ahead and apply them. Big toes are super easy. You just remove the adhesive, pop them on. They might even be a little bit too wide, which is bizarre. And that might be a little crooked, but we'll live with it. So now with these, you're supposed to take the adhesive off and then use the handle to apply them and then tear the handle off once applied. Yeah, that's just so long. <laughs> so long. <laughs> oh my God, that's long too. Wow. But they're tearing off super easy, the tabs are. These look like they are not my toes. What is going on? Oh my God, that looks so weird. <gasps> That's so long. Oh my God, there has to be one shorter. I can't wear that. I can't wear that one. Yeah, this is, this is too weird. Okay, so here we are, day five from far away. They don't look so bad. I've been working out every morning in tennis shoes, like not taking it easy with these nails. So to say that we are on the morning of day five and they still look this good from afar, I'm kind of impressed. But as you get up closer, you really start to see this guy, like it, I, they were so long that this one has started to move down like that, like, and, and is popping off, see like that. And then my pinky toes, same thing, where they've just kind of popped off and they haven't totally fallen off, but I can feel them like as my, my feet. This is probably totally disgusting. I'm sorry, you guys, but it is about foot feet. Like I can't not show my feet in a press on toenail video. So bear with me. Um, and so yeah, both of my pinky toes have kind of come off and then this one was a little bit of a problem nail, but the rest are still looking pretty good. So I'm going to take them off now. Okay. So after having done that, I want to share my thoughts on these. 
I took the style I was wearing, Break the Ice Off, on the fifth day. It really hadn't been on the full fifth day, so I would say it lasted a good four and a half or three quarters days. Not bad considering I could have probably taken the two nails that were acting funny off and replaced them with other nails or even taken nail glue and just re-glued those on, but also not quite as long lasting as my fingernails, which is honestly to be expected because shoving my feet into socks and then shoes and then sweating in them, like I, these had more long, and being in a pool. I was, I spent like an hour literally submerged in a pool one day because it's so stinking hot down here. And I was surprised that they weren't loose. That might've been what loosened those two though, but but for the most part, none of the other ones were loose. So I am pretty impressed by the wear they endured, but still only four and three quarters day wear. The other thing I wasn't a fan of was the fit. You really couldn't tell from far away, but up close and certainly whenever I looked at them, I could always see the nails like my second to longest or largest toe. It, I just got some wide nails. I don't know what's up with that, but there just weren't any nails wide enough and those that were, were way too long. So there was some weirdness with that too, would like maybe a few more or different sizes uh, uh, of the nails within the clusters, if that makes sense. It's just such a weird conversation. Um, but on the plus side, I do like that it's easy to get toenail decor, like whether it's gemstones or I just today applied Craving, which has this really cool, multi-dimensional like geode effect and then it has a duochrome polish on it so it's super dimensional and reflective. I don't even think they do that in salons for your toes so it is a cool way to get something a little bit more complex on your toes and in no time at all right you know you just kind of apply nail polish remover and then you just peel the back off and stick them on. It really is super easy to do over going in and having the full pedicure done or even just painting your nails at home which I find can be kind of time consuming especially when you consider dry time. All in all they're not bad. I don't think they're going to be the go-tos that they are for my fingernails, but I certainly won't hesitate to pick them up if I want a super quick pedicure, I don't want to paint my nails, or I just want something that's, you know, really nice looking, but I don't want to have to put the time and effort in. Sure, I will reach for these, but because I don't have the same problem on my toes as I do with my fingers in terms of nail polish chipping and staying, these are just not as much of a necessity for me as the, the fingernails are. But just know that they are pretty good. You might struggle with some nail size, and longevity on the nails that don't fit quite right. But for the most part, they did stay pretty well and in living my regular life, like I didn't have to take it easy, not work out, not swim, whatever. I did whatever I was gonna do and they happened to stay with me most mostly through it. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think. Press on toenails, yay or nay. Vote down in the comments below. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.